Hey guys, Isaac here. Welcome to another dang exciting one. This is iOS 10. Yes, I developer beta today, so let's go ahead and check it out and I'll go over the features with you guys. So, first thing you'll notice is, um, sorry, my is gone. When you slide over, you get to like um, these widgets. So, that's pretty cool. I'm still trying to get used to it because now um, you press home to unlock. Um, you can either do it this way, or what you can do is you can go and do it like that. So, anyways, um, what I'm going to show you next is probably my favorite is messages. So, let's go ahead and jump into there. Now, you can do so many new things in messages like sorry about that. Um, it's actually like fun now you can like say do things like an expression like if you wanted to say something like I got tickets for the Royals game if you're like sending this to someone and if you wanted it to kind of be like a surprise, you hold down on the send button, and you select invisible ink, and then you say send, and there you go. It'll look like this. And then when it comes through to the next, to the other person, what it's going to be like is you can just clear it like that. So you know it's kind of fun. You can also do that with like photos. And then it's like, let's just say, some other person came back and said, thanks so much, you're awesome. They can like send that with a screen effect like this. So. So you see the balloons there? That's um, one of the many screen effects there are. Let me show you some more. Oh, and did you just see what I did there? How it, this is Siri integrated. What this is, basically this top little bar here, that just shows you, um, like basically, you can respond to it without even typing. Like you can say, no problem. Let me show you how the screen effect works. Do confetti and send. And there you go. But yeah, it's like um, if someone sends you a message, you can basically have direct replies without even needing to type anything. Like, where are Where it starts showing up. Uh, okay. You sh what I was gonna say is you should be able to send like your current location. See, and then it would. I don't know. Um, okay. Now let's move on to emojis. So there's like 75 new emojis in iOS 10 which I think is awesome. The best part is you don't even need to um, you don't need to find all the emojis again. The phone will find it for you. So let's just find a sentence real quick. Um, let me find something. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Safari. Let's just find something on Wikipedia here. English. Okay, today's featured article. So I'm gonna do 30 more. 
much coffee all over the place. Go back to here. Paste. Okay, so you can see I've got all this in there now. I'm going to say emojis. They'll turn highlighted like that, and you can just bam, bam. 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 Like that, and then send it. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, sorry, all the dingings in the back. That's just um, different devices receiving them since I have to send it to myself. Um, I don't want this clogging it up, so. Oh, the other thing. So now there's a way. I haven't figured out how to do it on an iPhone yet, but okay, let's do this. So you can take like video, or like a photo. See, hello. Draw before or on during. And, like take a selfie, like. And then what you can do, you can either like take it, you can choose a color. You can like, I'm gonna put this like right here. Draw on that heartbeat. You know, like, like, I can just say, I can just like say, so. Then I can send it. Just like that. And you can see it will write down at the bottom. Come on on this. Yeah, see, there you go. See how it just ropes up there. Or you can do like a video. Let me show you that. Come on camera. What I'm curious to see is whether or not how much people will actually use these things because, you know, it could end up being like one of those features that just, you know, no one uses. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a video like, yeah, hey guys, Isaac here, whatever, blah, 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 goodbye now. So, oh, attachment, one, maybe. whatever. Um, so then I can, oh, what I do? Hey guys, Isaac here. Welcome back to another video. This one's on iOS 10. iOS 10. Oh yeah. So, you know, you can do stuff like that. Turn the sound on or off. Alright. So let's move on to something else besides my It took quite a while. Um, Siri has gotten a huge update. You were saying. Um, you can now... She will now like work with third-party developers uh, with an API. They really you would be able to say like Skype Isaac. Sorry, Isaac, I could not do that. But she says she can't do that because uh, you know Skype hasn't come up with the update yet. You can say like, get me an Uber to the nearest airport. I don't see an ad for that. You'll need to download. So then one. she'll like say stuff like that. So, anyway, that's what Siri's doing, and the notification center, if you have an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, you can 3D touch on all your notifications and just say clear all, which is pretty cool. Um, here's your new spotlight search area, and your uh, control center, which is completely redesigned, and now your music is um, yeah just scrolling to get to your music which is pretty cool apple music has gotten a huge overhaul too which i don't have apple music but just the library as um so yeah i'm gonna have to blur out those songs for copyright reasons but whatever um clock it's got a new dark theme now it's got bedtime which will basically like um it's like a smart alarm clock, basically. That's the only like it. But you know, you got your stopwatch. Pretty simple there. Um, your 
timer, world clock, and alarm. So, under those features, Maps is all redesigned as well. Uh, let's say if I wanted to go to Kansas City International Airport, there it is. So that way I could get there. So it'll just show me. And then you know you can get your directions and it'll take you to the airport. Um, that will also take you, you know, anywhere where you want to go. Not just airports, obviously, but. So. Oh, okay. Just got a notification there. That's about it for this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and um, the public beta of iOS 10 will drop sometime this uh, this month, and then the full release for uh, the public will drop um, uh, and this fall. So, like September when they release the iPhone 7. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.